Hey guys, John Lux here, back with our you uh semi-blind <laughs> Back with our semi-blind playthrough of Morrowind. Last time we left off, we basically finished both of the we did the Mazuleft thing. Turned that in, then she's like, hey, go to the nicest egg mine and find some other plans in there. And I was like, oh yeah, cool, we already did that. So I just went and brought those to her. And um that finished off the Aldrun Mage's Guild quests. So we've completed the Balmora and the uh, Aldrun quests. All that's left is Sudrith Mora, and then maybe... I don't know. I don't know. Some... Who knows? Let's, uh, let's do this. And then when we go back to turn this one in, I want to head to... I think it's Telfir. And we'll see if that dude has, uh... Hey, guy. Let's see if that dude knows anything about the dwarves. I, I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily his... Oh, here comes another one. His branch of research, but... Oh, that's... Oh. Is this dude a champion, or what's what's the deal? Eh, it's fine. Shadow shield? Eh. Oh. <laughs> okay, whenever I get to pull out my freaking... What's going on here? There we go, Jesus. I, I swear it... I did like a turning motion, like I had the freaking uh, lockpick equipped. But then, yeah, he was like staggering me and knocking me down and all that stuff. Because... So I couldn't pull out the, uh, the sword, I guess. Right, let's use, yep, champion. Silver Claymore. Oh, they're both champions? Oh, those are vines. I was like, I was like, what is that? There's gotta be more skeletons or something. I was waiting for... Oh, what was that? Oh, Bone Lord, huh? Oh, there it is. Oh, I guess we could try using the Silence Charm, right? Okay, where is it? Silence Charm. Boop. I think that worked. Oh, it was strange. Like, it didn't... The body was still kind of there. You couldn't see it, but I couldn't move forward. It was a little bit odd. All right, well... Filling up all of our... Oh, and there's a door. Oh, nice. You know, how do you... If you're a necromancer, how do you do this? It's trapped. So it's still worth having... These. Just punch the door until it... Break it down with my... Sheer charisma. No, I mean, so if you're a necromancer, how do you how do you do this? Do you just hire people, or...? You will die. Okay. Well, at least she was kind enough to just be sitting there. Let's try using the mad. Oh, 
Hmm. I have a I have a strategy. Let's try this. Okay, use that. Okay, there's her. Well, this could be a problem. Um, hmm. I don't I don't know if this will work. We could try it. I, I don't know if that worked at all, but let's do, uh, let's use that again. The shadow shield. Okay, does it... Oh, awesome. Awesome. And then, uh... That was pretty fun. That was pretty freaking fun. She's like, I see you, and I'm like, no, you don't, I'm invisible. And she's like, well, okay, I summon a bone walker, and I'm like, touche, I can't touch you now with the mad stone, so that's a problem. I'm like, let me use this. I don't know what level it is, it's probably not gonna work, but and then it worked, and I'm like, I start moving away. I turn myself invisible. I didn't think it worked at first. I turn myself invisible again, start backing away, and it follows me. And I'm like, oh god, does it see me still? Or is it, is it, you know, not friendly? And then she cast something, and it, it turned and ran her. She's like, help! And I'm like, oh, okay. This is, it worked. Right? And then I used the mad stone, and then I beat her in the face with my sword until she went down, and... That was a good time. It was a good time using all the little tricks. Right? Exquisite robe. Oh, well. Heartstone. Uh, expensive shoes, common amulet. We'll just take all this, I guess. Anything in the pot? No. Have ourselves a glass lantern if we were to want it. Wait, are there there's a barrel outside that doesn't correspond. We got quama eggs. How many was that? Ten? I couldn't couldn't tell. I don't know. I still don't know. Might have been twenty. Basket, we got some hackalo leaf. Ooh, see, that was kind of hidden. What do we got? Master, 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 master. Master! Oh, okay. See, I have one of these, and I was like, oh no, I don't want to sell that because that's the uh, the recipe thing, but no, it's it's not, so... Oh, and silly me, I was just talking about how, like, oh, I may as well use the keys for everything. And it's like, yeah, but you're still gonna, I was, in my brain, I was like, I don't need lockpicks anymore. But, but no, you, you still do. Okay, anything else needs? You would think, though, that she would have the key to her own chest. Keys? Keys to the heart. And that's true, there's a hammock there. You can always, almost always sleep if you want to use spells to unlock stuff. Makes sense to me, it is an amulet. All right, that's cool. Yeah, that was really fun. That was really fun. I'm like, I'm invisible, bitch. <laughs> you know? Look at all the salt rice. We got random shoes, expensive skirts.
Let me take the skirt, too. Because I'm wearing Mara's skirt right now, and if I wanted to... Dude. A journeyman Lembic. Do I want to take all this stuff? Do I want to take... Sure. Do I want to take all of her... Is that a broom? It is. Iron ladle. I was gonna say, I'm full. I'm full of... Oh, wow, that's a lot of potions. This is gonna put us over, isn't it? Origins of the Mages Guild, why do you have this? Divine Intervention. Corrupt Arcanics. Still don't know what that does. And then... No, uh, no corpse preparation. Ah, oh, there you go. Now we're... Store willpower. Am I gonna take your silly little bottle? No. Another expensive skirt and a... Belt. Do I want the belt? Sure, we'll sell it. Uh, I can make myself maybe an another... I, I would like to get to the point where I can use constant effect stuff or make them. Um, because then you could presumably just make it yourself, right? Let's look this up. Okay, so first I want to look up what Dispel does. It's time. It's episode 200 something, 206. Morrowind. Uh, dispel. Cancels all temporary magic effects on the target. Effects from abilities, potions, enchanted items, scrolls, and diseases are all unaffected. Abilities, potions, enchanted items, scrolls, and diseases are unaffected. So it's like when they buff themselves. Uh, can either be used to remove an enemy's defenses or remove negative effects from yourself or allies. It will remove both helpful and harmful effects. Works on all effects regardless of being positive. For example, chameleon, levitate, and fortify atrophy or negative, paralyze and drain health. Um... Dispel can even get rid of an enemy's bound items or summoned creatures. Okay. Possible to dispel the effects of enchanted items, but only if the dispel is cast from the same item as the effects to be dispelled. Alright, don't... Okay, that's... Semi-useless. And then, let's look up, um... Morrowind Constant... Constant effect. How do you make a constant effect enchantment? Didn't I look this up already? Can only create an item with constant effect if the so. Okay. Trainers. Books. Recharging items using enchanted items. Why enchant? You can create constant effect items. Normally wear a helm, provide constant effect. Okay. How to enchant. Okay. Okay, enchanting yourself.
Let's see. Oh, I see. Using alchemy or other magical means to boost intelligence into the hundreds or thousands will allow you to attempt more complex enchantments. Intelligence fortified to 4,900 or an enchant skill fortified to 1225 will be enough to guarantee the success of any enchantment. Okay, and then... Yeah, fatigue... Wait... Okay, a constant effect doubles the difficulty, which is fine. Wait, wait, okay. Even after maxing enchant intelligence and luck, most advanced enchantments such as constant effect will be out of reach. Well, yeah, okay. If you have the Tribunal expansion, you can buy Fortify Skill spells from so-and-so at the Mournhold Temple of Ministry. And... Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Fortify Skill spells are in the in uh, the DLC, basically. Okay. Oh, interesting. If the size of the soul in the gem is 400 or greater, only a few creatures in a grand soul gem provide souls large enough. These are golden saints, ascend to sleepers, dark mazoff, and the tribunal gods, Vivek and Almalexia. Holy shit. Okay. Some... Well, see, I, I was looking more for... Hmm. It's telling you all about how to do... How to summon people to do soul gems or whatever. Random loot. Items. Okay. So that's interesting. You might not even be able to do it unless because I, I noticed during the enchanting thing sometimes putting the spell needs it you have to fill in the things before you can select certain things so yeah I might need to put a golden saint in there and then it's like and then it's like oh okay now you can make a, a chant or a constant effect I don't know it's it's a little on the strange side all right but we are full over encumbered. Can I make anything? Well, marshmallow. Uh, let's see. Black anther bone meal. I'm sure I can. Fortify luck. I. Don't, oh, Kwame eggs. Restore fatigue. What else can restore fatigue? That's the big thing. All the... Oh, Hackalow leaf. Yeah, we could. Oh, and salt rice, too. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, see, 20, 20 Kwame eggs. All right, let's Grandmaster, Master, Grandmaster, Grandmaster. Okay, cool. Small Kwama egg, and then we'll just use uh, we'll just use the salt rice. Oh, come on! Did I gain a level? Is that why? We did now. All right, there you go. We're below the thing.
Okay, so what else? I think that's it. All right, let's GTFO. That was a short little cave. Short, sweet, and man, she had Grandmaster stuff, which is outstanding. All right, let us... Go back to Belmora, I suppose. We're right near there. So let's do a... Do a little Elm Civvy. We shall save. I don't... I don't know if... Ajira... I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. Yeah, the, um, when I was reading about the enchantment stuff, it said stealing soul gems from a mage's guild is, or stealing soul gems, I think, is bad. They said in general because I, I just was skimming and I it clicked because, like, it's considered a stolen item or it might have faction affiliation or, or something like that. So, yeah. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Oh, my God, we made it. Okay. Warm day to you, friend. <sighs> I was worried about that. There we go. Thought that was something on the sheet for a second. Let's do. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What shall we talk about? <sighs> Talk about you moving. You moving or losing weight. One of the two. Both. Good friend. This is an honor. Okay, do I want to sell... I don't think I'll even be able to sell her these because she doesn't have enough money. Unless I were to purchase back... Like the diamonds, the rubies, maybe the skooma. But then, you know, she's the only one I know of. You know what I mean? Uh, so, let's sell her all these potions if we can. Disease resistance. Light. Agility. Fortify health and magicka, yeah. Night Eye, no. Reflection. Swift Swim. No. No, not worth it. I'm gonna say also no. I think I, I think I had that one before, but nah. Okay, Restore Agility. Restore Magicka, Spell Absorption. Cure Common Disease, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Cure paralyzation, cure poison, water breathing. Um. Nah. Water walking. Restore health, restore magicka, restore willpower, resist poison. Yeah, I don't know if I need to fortify fatigue, but. I guess I'd rather have it all in the same... You know, these two are probably fine. If I need... Maybe that's the advantage of the Shadow Shield. You know, you get in trouble, you're like, I'm invisible and I'm regenerating stamina. You know what I mean? So we'll keep these two. We'll sell these other two. Um, okay, store health, fortify health, 
Um, yeah, hound meat, war hide. Scuttle, sure, brew brush. <sighs> Muck. I sell the bone meal? Awesome. Just the generic stuff will sell. Uh, I don't think I can sell any of these. I think that's... Seller mix. Okay, offer... Yeah, it's funny too, right? I... Well, I have a Grandmaster Retort. I still need another one, though. Maybe that chick here, the Alchemist, maybe she has a decent amount of cash. You know? I don't know where to be. Probably... Probably don't try and sell her diamonds. You know? Probably this alchemist chick, you never sell her diamonds because they're stolen from then on, I would imagine. Okay. Archer, you do have a good amount of money. Apprentice, you also sell vampire dust. You sell a Grandmaster Mortar and Pestle, which is cool. Um, you think I can uh, do a little of this? Nope, that didn't work. B7. Wow, a lot of, uh, a lot of variation here. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, I need to sell you, I need to sell you some stuff. Okay, so I have the Grandmaster. Oh, during an Alembic. Yeah, get rid of that crap. Uh... Okay. Maybe I could buy stuff from her, too. You know what I mean? It's... Alright, Grandmaster Retort. Master Mortar and Pestle. What can I buy from her that she offers... Mm, you know, some of the, just whatever. We'll just find the more expensive stuff and buy that. Okay, Masters Alembic. Okay, there we go. So now I still have all my stuff. Give me the vampire dust. Uh, yeah. Mmm, yeah, I don't know if I want to buy the... Oh, Slowed Soap is Fire Shield as well? Scrap Metal is Lightning Shield. What else has Lightning Shield? Fire salts. Or was it Ebony that had the, uh... Crab meat has lightning shield. Okay, well... Makes sense. Actually, no, it doesn't make sense. Why would crab meat... You'd think crab meat would make you more susceptible to lightning. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah. Rubies. Sure. Just, just everything, dude. All the expensive stuff. All the fire salts. We're still at 5,000. I might need to hold on to freaking...
Three pearls. Oh yeah, the slowed soap will take all that. Okay, what what is pricey here? Just buy whatever's pricey. Oh, the void salts, yeah. And then it's basically the priciest stuff, and we're down to four thousand. So I could. <laughs> Maybe the Master's Mortar and Pestle. Okay, yeah, that works. To what do I owe the pleasure, Lord? And then, hmm. Well, we'll wait a sec. Then we'll try and make some. Uh... Some potions of lightning shield, I suppose. A warm welcome to you. Oh, thank you. And then... Two crab meat. Two scrap metal. Okay, we made one. Where is it? Resist, resist shock. Weight of five, though. That's yeah. That's okay. Let's see if I can hit up my girl, the other girl, the necromancer chick. Welcome, friend. You're nearly a legend around here. Please talk. It's really interesting, just those little voices everywhere, it makes it, it does make it really seem like it's a voiced game. Welcome, please speak. Barter. Uh, resist shock. Bam. And then, yeah, we're not gonna be able to, we're not gonna be able to sell her much. Oh, yeah, we have the clothes. That's right. A clothier. I don't think I got anything different or bad or whatever. Two. Does she have anything I want? Interesting. I would say no. Okay. Well, all right. Let's, uh... Yes, the clothier. Then back to... Me with your... Skink in the tree. You're not what I expected. You earned my trust. Back to Sedra Thamora, we'll turn that in, we'll see what other quest he wants to give us, and then, uh... Okay. Yep, I'm gonna give you some skirts. Shoes, belt, common amulet. She's like a common amulet? Oh, Hearthstone. Uh... Yeah, okay. I forgot, I forgot we had that as well. See if we could do 90. Are you wearing fortunate? How do you do, Nord? I can't see her shoes, but I'm sure they're nice. And then uh we had a book, right? Alchemists, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Origin the Mages Guild, yeah. Let's grab a couple more. We'll sell, start selling off our books. Book of Rest and Endings. I don't remember that one. Ransom of Zarek. Uh, Corpse Preparation. Yep. Armor's Challenge. 
Song of the Alchemist, the other one. All right. <coughs> How wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. See, the only reason she's not more fancily dressed is because all she could buy is books. You can't eat them. All right, what do we got? Rest in endings, arcade the enemy. Oh man, we're... Ah. Uh... You know what, I'm okay with it. Well, hmm. Six thirty-four. I could have been like, no, lower your what you want to give me, but eh. not in the business of giving stuff away for free, after all. All right. To Sadrith Mora. Let's go. You, flatter me with your attention. you know, I notice it doesn't say... Like when we kill her, it doesn't update our journal. It's not like, oh, I killed so-and-so. <coughs> I... Th I think sometimes I it say, does, but... You most interesting right now. Please go ahead. You're, You're in good, good company, company friend. Yours. Well, what shall we talk about? You seem like very good company. Please. Yes, other guest. Yet I do think he meant well. Everyone's talking at me. Did you put a stop to her necromancy? While killing is never pleasant, it is sometimes necessary. Tillura Ulver is dead. You have proven yourself to guild, Loxley. Your journal has been updated. Are you here for duties or advancement? Well, tell me about the duties then. Ah, speak with me again when you have the rank of wizard. So we need to get promoted and then... Presumably he's the only one still. Well, I mean... What are the requirements? Destruction, Alteration, Illusion, and Mysticism. Enchantment, Alchemy. Wait. Let's take a look. Alchemy, Mysticism, Illusion, Alteration, Destruction, Enchant. Six skills. One skill at 70, two at 25. I got the 25, I just need one at 70, which is, I mean, illusion, alteration, destruction. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't found any trainers. That's a problem. So, all right then, let's try going to well, I find myself in pleasant company. The, Please share your thoughts. The dude at Telfir, um, he doesn't train, right? Do his daughters, quote unquote daughters, do they train? I could have sworn one of them was a trainer. Regardless, let's go. Man, everyone has master stuff. No. Okay. No. I like, do you have any master level stuff? Or a grandmaster specifically, I guess, but uh yeah. Alright, two 
Telfir. Uh, right. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely easier to go this way. We just need to swim, right? Or walk on water. That's what they said. Hmm. Yeah, it's far, but it's not... super far, I guess. It's far enough. Just gonna listen for the music to change, basically. Which, surprising it hasn't. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, there you are. Alright. I don't know if I can get on land like that. Oh, you slide. Uh, almost, almost. Ah, oh, man. Ah, well, we'll just... Uh, okay. That's, yeah. Um. Oh. Stupid fish. <laughs> and a cliff racer. And could have sworn I saw something that way. Already? Oh. Rest and meditate. Can I... I don't think waiting counts, right? You, do you need to actually find a bed? Oh man, I'm looking in the complete wrong direction. All these cliff racers. All right, uh, man, yeah. See, even just using the long blade, it, it goes up so fast. I guess we could put a mark. Do we rent a bed? I know there's guilds, but... Hmm. These are good questions. Alright, uh, well, let's do this. Or there's probably gonna be like... Oh! Does this count? It does. All right. Uh, willpower. What are you doing? All right, there we go. Willpower is one away. This is where personality starts getting screwed. Is that what happens? Once it's 95, it's like, oh, I don't know what you're doing. All right, so now you find a trainer, anyone that can train your willpower, and you just go for it, because regardless, it's... Okay.
Um. Yeah, so you'd want speed, I guess. Oh, did am I? Let's do uh, lightning bolt. Yeah, don't worry about it. Honestly, that's what you should be doing, though. You should be grabbing all those racer plumes, and I think that's the tower. Yep. And then making levitation potions and... whatever else. Hey, mud crab. Well... Maybe you shouldn't be messing with me. And we're still getting attacked by something. But what? Aha! You get nothing! Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is a little bit harder to scale, I think. It's kind of working. Oh, yeah, that's a long way down. Hmm, mm, we're about to... Oh. <laughs> You're sliding to your doom. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Face first into a rock. That's how it goes. Okay, let's... Oh, we... Hang on, what's attacking us? Aha! Alright, yep, we need... To... We need training, though. That should be our first... our first goal. So bright. It's a lot of marshmallow. Maybe we should, um, take a peek. Alright, so... You seek information, Nord? Yes. Awesome. I was actually hoping you could tell me a little more about, well, anything. Okay. What do you want, Outlander? Don't be so mean. Don't be so mean, lady. Yeah, I don't remember what was in there. Some coins or something. Who is this? Do you have something to say, Outlander? Um... There's someone watching you. Should we travel together? I don't know who that is. How do you get to the Corpusarium again? 
through Onyx Hall, I thought, but... Hmm. Okay, can I... Alright, okay, there we, there we go. Alright. What do you want, Outlander? Hmm... Oh, I'm still levitating. Wait, is there... No. I was like, why can't I run? Oh, that's why. There we go. Alright, let's talk to the dude. There's no windows in here, though. That's gotta be... A warm welcome to you. Thank you. Uh... Let's see, I'm surprised and a bit disappointed. I thought you were the Nerevarine. Why haven't you fulfilled the prophecies? Is something wrong? Did you do something you shouldn't? I've heard rumors that Archcanon Tholer Saryoni, the High Priest of the Temple, is desperate and he asks that you come speak with him at the High Fane in Vevex City. If there is some problem, maybe you should go talk to Saryoni. You think this is not a trap? Come on. Um, yeah, Ega time. I notice I don't have the... Divine, or, yeah, divine whatever. This is an interesting work. Yagram Bagarn might be able to tell you more. Yep. Devaith Fear was surprised and disappointed I had not fulfilled the Nerevarine prophecies. He said he had heard rumors that Archcan and Saryoni hopes I will come speak with him at the High Fane in Vivek City. Is this a quest? Portator and Nerevarine. Hmm, okay. Well, presumably, once you, yeah, once you start being the Hortator, then he, it's like, oh, yeah, okay. All right, well, let's go talk to... Talk to whatever his name, Yagram Bagarn. Yep, and then, uh... Right. Oh, I keep missing that. Right. Right, 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 right. It wants something. What does it ask? Oh, Jesus. Can I get by you? Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Right, hopefully they're still pacified. I would imagine they are. What about you? Okay. Let's see. You're here for the Dwemer boots. Tell my gracious keeper I've done what I could. Only a Dwemer magecrafter could have done so much, but only idiots could have created these boots. It shames my race. We must be judged by the works of such lackwit blunders. I don't, um... Didn't I already tell him about the boots? Yeah. Well... Disappearance of the dwarves. Last living dwarf. This is how I style myself. Okay, I have theories. All right, um. My race. What's his master crafter? All right, well. Tell me about the Hanging Gardens first. Yes, this book is written in both Aldmerison and Dwemer. Many books were written in both languages in the days of Resdane when Dunmer and Dwemer ruled together peacefully. I'd offer to translate, but this is really just a boring travel guide. If you find any other... Awesome. 
If you find any other books in Dwemer, I could translate them for you. What about Divine Metaphysics? And see, it's interesting. Well, but I guess they don't know there's another... There's a living Dwemer, right? They're like, oh, I can't translate it. Look for a Telvanni wizard or something. Someone that's a scholar. Not, oh, hey, if there's someone that could speak Dwemer, talk to them. This book is just an explanation of some of Kagranek's theories. I could spend hours explaining them to you, but Kagranek is dead, and I believe his theories must die with him. By refreshing my memory with divine metaphysics. Ah, you need both. Okay. I believe I can explain. The Dwemer were not unified in their thinking. Kagranak and his tonal architects, among them Bthwand Mazank, believed they could improve the Dwemer race. Others argued that the attempt would be too great a risk. The war with Nerevar and the Dunmer may have led Kagranak to carry out his experiments prematurely. Although this book argues that nothing disastrous could result, the disappearance of my race argues otherwise. Okay. Alright, I was able to get the Dwemer books The Egg of Time and Divine Metaphysics adapted to the meanest of intellects. Translated. Divine Metaphysics seems to be a treatise explaining how to create a new god through sorcery. Egg of Time seems... My, I paused there for a second because I was like, Divine Metaphysics adapted to the meanest of intellects. That's the... That's the full title, not just Divine Metaphysics. Anyway. Um... Egg of Time seems to be a refutation of the idea that linking to a divine source of power can be dangerous if interrupted. Though the Egg of Time refutes his, this idea, perhaps the author was wrong, and this is what happened to the dwarves. But... Okay, so did it update my journal... Under what quest? Mystery of the Dwarves, perhaps. Alright, well, let us... I want to know what's in there, but I... Um... Let's save. Let's save here and stop. Uh, maybe we'll go back and talk to Trebonius. Um... He's like, yeah, you haven't, you haven't filled the prophecies. Why not? And I'm like, dude, I'm still working on it. I want to do the House Halalu stuff first. I want to do a bunch of these quests before I get railroaded into whatever. But we might already be on that path. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Um, But that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. What is your guys' unique positive moment for today? Uh, for me... I'm trying to remember... I watched a YouTube video about... Another top 10 list. Those are all the rage. Uh, but it was like the top 10... You know... Oopsies in game journalism or something. Mistakes in game... Or terrible game journalist takes or something like that. And I think the YouTuber is Magic Mush. Is that the name? Um... Yeah, I don't remember. It was it was decent, though. It was a decent little video. Uh, and, of course, not exhaustive and maybe not even the worst ones. Because in the comments, people were like, oh, I remember when the original Doom came out and, you know, one reviewer was upset because you couldn't negotiate with the demons. You had to kill them instead or something like that. And it's... People are weird, man. People are weird. But, uh, but yeah, that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully, your guys, is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.